Okay, I'm going to demonstrate how to use data validation to pick a value from a list to enter as a specific input. And uh, this is going to prevent people from entering values that I don't want them to enter uh, in the order quantity cell. All right, so I'm going to go to the data tab and in the data tools group, I'm going to select data validation. And uh, you can see that right now in B9, any value is allowed. Uh, and instead of having any value allowed, I only want to allow uh, something from this list. Okay, so from the drop down, I am going to select list. And uh, list works in two ways. I could either type the values in and separate them by commas. All right, or I can create a dynamic list by pointing, clicking, and dragging out in the spreadsheet. Okay, so uh, both I can get the same kind of drop down list. Uh, this one just allows for uh, changes in, in the drop down list, and then I won't have to come back into data validation to make changes. Okay, uh, you can, if you want, put an input message. Uh, usually I don't because every time I move into the cell, the message pops up and it tends to be annoying. Okay, there will be a, an error message that pops up if somebody tries to type in a value that's not in the list. Okay, and so you can choose what you want. Okay, either it's a stop or a warning or just for information. Uh, I'm going to leave it blank though and let the system uh, give its, its warning to say enter a valid value. Just click OK. And now if I move over to B9, okay, I can automatically choose one of the values from the list. And if I try to type a value that's not in the list, okay, I am going to get this error message. And uh, that is data validation, briefly.